I'm going to start off with three pounds of canned peaches. One third cup of white sugar. One third cup of brown sugar. One tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Next, I'm going to add 3 4 teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Ooh. Next, I'm going to add 1 4 teaspoon of nutmeg. Half a teaspoon of allspice. Now I'm adding one and one half teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. One fourth cup of melted butter. Mm. Next, I'm going to add two teaspoons of cornstarch that I've whisked together with water. Just gonna go ahead and mix this all together so all those flavors could blend. Now you can adjust your sugar to however you want it, the sweetness that you want it. What the cornstarch is, is gonna act as a sweetener. So I'm just gonna let that boil and then I'm just gonna turn that down and let all the flavors blend together. It smells so good, guys. I did let this simmer for about 30 minutes so all the flavors can mix together and blend very well and also let the juice get thick. Now can you see how thick and bubbly that juice is guys? It's going to be so delicious and it just smells fantastic. I wish you guys could smell it. So now it's time to go ahead and pour it in our pan. I'm going to just be using this pre-made pie crust right here for the dough because ain't nobody got time to be making no dough from scratch today so I'm just gonna roll this out it comes in a roll like this and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this up in squares sorry y'all I ain't got time to be making no dough from scratch today but I will be sharing my dough recipe with you my crust recipe because I love crust but this is just as good you know the best part of the peach cobbler is the crust so I went ahead and cut these up in squares once you get all your dough pushed in you just want to push it in very gently and once you get it pushed in it's now to put the topping on okay next I'm just gonna put some egg wash on it I have one beaten egg with some water so it'll be a nice golden brown. I'm going to cover all the dough with that. Next I have some cinnamon and sugar mixed together. I'm just going to top it with that. Okay, and this is what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes. Just took this baby out guys and my crust is perfect. Just the way I like it. Dark, golden, brown, and crispy. 